Hey guys, I am walking and praying today. And we just got back, me and Stephanie, from ministering in 18 services in Switzerland and France in a matter of eight days. It was a very rigorous schedule, but amazing. Over 130 first time salvations in two miracle crusades, a lot of healing meetings, glory meetings, Holy Spirit meetings where people were filled, empowered, refreshed. And I'm rejoicing today over it. But you know, as I'm sitting here walking, sitting, walking, praying, there's a thought in my heart that I want to share with you because I feel it's important. And you know, the meetings are amazing. What we do for God is amazing in the sense that we're faithful to Him and we're doing what He's asked us to do and what He's called us to do. And healing meetings are fun. It's exciting seeing people get saved and set free. And there's a sense of fulfillment in that when, when your life is helping other people. But there's going to come a day where the meetings are over, the services are done and passed. And what's left is, of course, the things we've accomplished for eternity. We get to lay all of the good works that we've done and whatever rewards we receive from those things down at the feet of Jesus in worship, which is an honor and privilege to do that. But then also it's like when all the activities are over, what's left? It's your personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. It's the connection you have in your heart with Him. When there's no activity, when there's no nothing going on out here, it's just what is left between you and God. And that is what we will stand before Him with. And that's what will carry with us forever into eternity. The heart we cultivate with Him. The right attitudes, the right thoughts, the clean heart, the clean hands, the right life, living in a way that pleases Him. Keeping yourself unspotted from the world, these things. And I just encourage you today, as I do myself, that it's really important to cultivate that relationship with Jesus and that relationship you have with God. Cultivate it, invest into it, spend time with God because your relationship with Him and the life that you live, your lifestyle, your lifestyle, not your ministry activity, your lifestyle, your prayer life, your, your, your attitudes, your inward devotion to God, this is what you will stand before the Lord with when it's all said and done. So I encourage you in that today and I pray that for you today and I bless you today.